As we're in Manchester for five days for the test match, I thought I'd give you a very quick and personal guide to my home city. Cricket Club. Take a look at the, the brand new pavilion which was done two or three years ago. They might have taken my photo down by now. Anyway, it's pretty quiet at the moment. There's a day night game going on later on, but as you can see, it's fairly festive. One or two Union Jacks around. Let's go and take a look inside. Fitting on the Queen's Jubilee weekend that we have a look at. Some old photos. Lancashire's got a great history, and here we see some old team photos. Archie McLaren, who scored a 400 once in first-class cricket, and he managed to get his young lad on the team photo. Some photos here from the 60s, the late, great Brian Statham. And as we move along, one or two more recognisable faces. David Lloyd there with a full head of hair, and his brother Clive. And here we are, as we go out, let's have a look at the ground. We really can't have a look at the ground first before we've had a look at the changing rooms, so follow me this way. Here we are, this is the, the cat players dressing room here at Old Trafford, Andrew Flintoff's locker. See him there with a couple of furry mates. And what a mess. <laughs> it's a match day, the boys will be in later and you can see they're kind of uh, well prepared for the match against Gloucester. They used to tell me I was messy, I was in this locker here for 15 years after I was capped in 1989, but I'm afraid Glenn Chappell beats me hands down, I think. Look at that mess. So here we are. I kind of... I remember when I first played here. I played here in 1981 was my first game against Yorkshire under-13s. And I ran out Graham Lloyd by the length of the pitch, got a bollock in from his old man. Fifteen years later, we were working together as captain and coach of England. This was our first stop in Manchester, of course, for cricket fans, the real Old Trafford. But the other Old Trafford is literally a nine-iron over the town hall building there. So let's go and take a peek. Literally 500 yards from the cricket ground is the other Old Trafford, Manchester United Football Club. And it's quite close to my heart, actually, because, although he'd probably kill me for telling you, my, my old man played here for three years in the late 50s, early 60s. Never played for the first team. He was on the subs bench a few times, but it was in the days when subs could only get on through injury and not tax tactical substitutions. But, I mean, you can see it's absolutely enormous. This is the old Stretford end and the great man, Sir Matt Busby, just behind me. leaving Old Trafford now, it's obviously a place where I spent a lot of time, the cricket club and the football club, quite a famous area of Manchester. And we're going to head towards my old school, which is in a, um, a suburb called Rush Home. the Manchester Grammar School, the most famous and best school in Manchester. I remember being terrified as an 11 year old when I had to fit the entrance exam in 1979. Through there is the Memorial Hall, Got given detention there, once in there by the Reverend Ross for speaking too loudly in the school assembly and it's half term at the moment, there's nobody here except of course my former English teacher, Ian Good Thorpe. Good to see you Mike. Nice to see you. Yeah. What the hell are you doing in on a, a day off? Catching up with the marking, you know, that sort of thing. Well, we're going to have a wander down. Um, towards my old... Well, I suppose okay. we've got to come and look at the uh, the old cricket pitch. Back towards the pavilion and the pitch beyond, absolutely, yeah. I first played for the first team when I was 12 or 13 in the second form, yeah. I remember. Yeah. And then... Mainly as a bowler. Leg spinner. Yeah, leg spinner. Yeah. And uh, we got beat once in five years, once at Shrewsbury School. Yeah. Uh, yeah. For that fourth or fifth form. Which, of course, we married with football as well. We went 95 games before we got beat in the football team. So was this team. a batsman's track? It became a batsman's track because eventually they had covering. When I first started, I don't think they had covering. And, um, so 
Mike, your name isn't on this board because of any cricketing excellence. This is the list of people who have supported our bursary appeal, and we're very grateful to you for putting something back into the school you, you, you came to. Well, it's something I feel really strongly about. It's trying to ensure that MGS uh, continues as having pupils from every social and economic background, but even people who've not really been involved with the school. So yep. Alex Ferguson. That's right. A, yep. a Alex Ferguson, lo lots of other people from the, the Manchester and even the national community who want this place to be a centre of excellence based on people being able to come here irrespective of their family's capacity to pay the fees. Well, wonderful. Thanks for showing us around. I'm sorry to take up your, uh, your half term. It's a, it's, it's a pleasure. I'd only be decorating if I weren't <laughs> here. <laughs> We're on the way to my old village cricket club at Woodhouses and we've taken the bus route, the old 76 bus route that I used to take into school, but it's so changed, it's absolute massive urban regeneration and there you can see the new Commonwealth Games Stadium. We're just entering a suburb of Manchester called Newton Heath, quite a, quite a rough suburb of Manchester, but on the left is my old junior school, Briscoe Lane, County Primary School and that's on that bit of ground there is where I started playing cricket. We've just had a couple of pints in the village booze at the Woodhouse Gardens and we're in Woodhouses which is the village where I was born and brought up. My mum and dad live about 200 yards down the way and the village cricket club is about half a mile further on from there and we're going to take a look there now. Well, this is where it all started for me. This is Woodhouses Cricket Club and they played in the Lancashire and Cheshire League I suppose. Lancashire is renowned for its leagues, the professionals and that kind of thing. And we had Farouk Engineer here, who came and proed for us just after he'd finished playing for Lancashire. That was my first connection with Lancashire and professional cricket. And this is it. Looks in pretty good nick still. The ground, it's a thriving club. Uh, junior teams and first 11s, second 11s. And it's looking in pretty good nick. Lots of memories. And on the left is the new housing estate. Rather embarrassing, the named after yours truly. Well, the best way to get around Manchester is definitely on the metro, so we're going to hop on and head for the city centre. to the GMAX stop, which is a huge exhibition centre in the middle of Manchester, which you can just see on my left-hand shoulder there. The right-hand side is the Bridgewater Hall, home to the world-famous Halle Orchestra. Right bang in the centre of the city here, and this is the map we've just taken, the tram route, which Old Trafford's over here somewhere. Chinatown is just about 500 yards to the left, that's where we're going next. After a long afternoon shopping, and if you're feeling a bit peckish, you could do worse than come to Chinatown. And we're here, right in the middle of Chinatown. The best restaurant in Manchester for Chinese is the Ang Sing. But if you don't fancy that, you can always pop into the Wing Fat supermarket and take your provisions home with you. our day in Manchester nearly complete. We've looked around one or two of my old haunts and the city centre and we're back to where we started at Lancashire to watch a day-night game. I've got my beer and I sit down for the evening. It's certainly easier than playing.